Welcome back. That was a hiccup that we have to the lightning strike where Liz was as we were talking to Pocahontas. So we're around in round two. Pocahontas, we just had a lightning strike here. Can you tell us what you feel that meant? What sign was that? Yeah, that that's funny because, you know, it knocked out the internet and everything. Um, that would have been a sign from, you know, as we call it, God. Uh, that would have been a sign from God that we are not being favored. It was all about favor and not favor. And that that's how you had to look. You didn't look at things as a test, how we look at them today, like, oh, God is testing me or source is testing me, whatever your religion is. Um, it's not looked at in that way. It was looked as you're favored, you're not favored. And if you weren't favored, you then had to offer sacrifices, pray more, do things like that to become favored. That, that So you see, even that lightning strike had a role <laughs> to enlighten our listeners. Did John Rolfe try and help you get an education when you had repositioned yourself back in England? Did he try to get you to learn English, learn to speak, learn to read? yes um she was taught english it was very difficult for her to learn that there are even these concepts of languages concepts of cultures uh concepts of countries she right. was she was quite you know she was quite educated and she liked that she liked that knowledge that there was more to life than just you know tribal living which is basically you wake up you hunt for food you know you're just going through the basic rituals of life you know uh having children living dying caring for the sick and things like that this was a real eye opener for her that there was actually other places in the world. They didn't even know what the earth was. They didn't know that there was an earth. They didn't know that there was a country. They didn't know any of that. They just lived very simple existence. There was no, did you have written words? No, it was all oral. There was no written language. Um, it was all passed down. Did other tribes have different dialects to you? Yes. Did you share um, common words? And No. So apparently, like, according to her and the time that she lived in and her knowledge, they did not share uh, words. So are you saying that some, one tribe could not readily converse with another? Not really. Not really. The language was completely different. Um Wow, that's interesting. And so there was no written documentation. Did they? Did you write? No, there was no writing. There was no, uh, was there an alphabet? No, there was no alphabet. There's some controversy about your first husband, Kukum. Was he, were you engaged to him? Did you love him? Was he murdered intentionally by the colonists? And then that led to your kidnapping? Yeah. So... There was arranged marriages, and that was already prearranged. That was already prearranged, uh, but it never it never really took place. Can she tell us how she passed away? She was supposed to come back to the Americas and and passed away. Was it what illness was it? How did she pass away? Uh. It was, she's telling me like the food. And I'm like, what do you mean the food? Her body was not designed or accustomed to eating that type of food. 
And it was really hard on her system, she's saying to me. Um, it was making her very ill. I feel like she died of sepsis. Wow. Poisoning, like a blood poisoning, a, a sepsis. It was making her very, very ill. She was vomiting on a regular basis. Um, it was almost like she was vomiting bile. I don't feel like she had an exceptionally long life. How true is the story of you to your real life? No, it wasn't. It wasn't that true. The story of her it, it, that has been portrayed, obviously, by Disney. It's not it's not real life. Her life was full of hardship, full of beatings uh, that John Rolfe, in the end, he would beat her as well. Um, it wasn't good. Was she sexually assaulted when she was in England also? Was she sexually assaulted? All the time. Yeah. All the time. Uh, she was like property. What was the reaction to the colonists after her death, about her death? They didn't care if I lived or died. She says they were self-serving. They had false intentions. They didn't even consider her to be a human being. After her crossing over into the afterlife, what was the first thing that she encountered? Uh, a reunion with a grandmother. A reunion with a grandmother and her ancestors her, that were there before her, her grandfather. Um, I don't what feel were the challenges parents were that, there. I guess they were still alive back in the Americas when she oh, passed. Oh, they were? Yeah. Oh, well, then that's why they weren't there. Okay, I didn't know that. Uh, so did you gain any new insights or wisdom? And the other thing... I'll ask that first. Any new insights or wisdom about your life as a person of property and in a new land? So here's the thing. Part of this was all part of her soul. Con this is so fascinating, guys. Hold on to your seats. This was all part of her soul contract because of the way that the Native Americans would contact and connect with their ancestors in spirit, right? They had this amazing ability to connect. And that information was given down from the ancestors to the earth plane, to the tribe. And part of her connection, her contract was to give through this information that these you know, the colonists were not so, you know, not so bad that this is what's coming uh, ahead that, you know, we try, we need to adapt and understand that they're not going away. So that was part of her role uh, beyond the earth plane was to extend this information back to the generations of her tribe. And then, of course, she reincarnated again. Did you reincarnate back into that tribe? No, she reincarnated back in as a colonist, um, but much later on. So, so that is very interesting that that was part of her role. Wow. When she returned as a colonist in another life, did she bring any gifts of her experience as Pocahontas back to that tribe and introduct, introduce any of her customs and she remember any of them? Not, not really. Um, no. When she hears people pray to her or think about her, what does that do to her soul on the other side? Is she aware of those pulls or connections or prayers? A 
mean, she is aware. Most of the info, you know, most of the time when people connect into her now and they think about her and they talk about her, it's all done with a lot of uh, positivity and radiant white light and, and things like that. So that obviously feeds her existence is a sort of a, a battery pack for source because that energy has to go somewhere. And I'm saying, does that fit sit on your soul? No, it doesn't go back to her soul. It actually goes directly to source. So she was in essence, that story is one of a light being there's a lot of feel good emotions around that story as it's being told. Where does she feel she's at on her soul journey now? She's a modern woman uh, now, a modern American woman with no connections to this past life. Um, so her reincarnations, she's extremely modern. She's very much like a business owner, uh, very industrious, very innovative, uh, you know, obviously relatively wealthy compared to the lifetime she had before. She'd had many, 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 almost like hundreds of tribal lifetimes. And she needed to, she says, I'm grateful for those tribal lifetimes. But the problem was as the earth plane is, re re sorry, as the earth plane is evolving, the human existence is evolving. You know, the tribal, the tribes weren't on a soul level evolving with the trend. And she, on a soul level, wanted to evolve. So this was her soul's mission. This is why she made these contracts in this way. Um, she wanted to evolve and become. Uh, you know, something more than just that simple existence as she refers to it as uh, that simple existence of, of just trying to survive. Uh, she says, there's more to life than just trying to survive. And I'm like, well, you say that, but a lot of people are still stuck in this survival mode. Now, I mean, around the world, there's lots of people that Ha just wake up they have to find food they don't have any money they don't have any way of making money and she goes yeah i know and she says and i didn't want that anymore she wanted to evolve her consciousness and i'm saying but yes but on a lot of levels your consciousness was much further advanced than it is living this earth plane existence as it is now and she says, yes, that's true. Uh, and I'm speaking on a connectivity level. So so now her connections uh, in her new lives and her new reincarnations have been severed. So she doesn't have that capability anymore. Certainly not yet. Maybe that will come around in another lifetime, but not, not now. And I'm saying, but do you think that that's a, an evolution of consciousness in that way? And she's like, well, no. But she wanted a modern, she was very, you know, she's very into modern and she wanted to grow her soul in a much different way with a lot of new experiences. And she's grown far beyond. And yet her story, even though it's tainted, lives on in the memory of a lot of people here in America and throughout the world. Pocahontas, thank you so much for spending time with us this morning. We wish you a beautiful journey as you continue to expand your consciousness and your existence. Yeah. And she just, she just blew us all a kiss and she says, thank you. And she goes, let's do this again. I love to talk. I'd love to be able to communicate because you realize that if we had run across Pocahontas on the earth plane, all those years ago, we would not have been able to have this, this type of communication at all we would be struggling to understand one another. So it's, it's really beautiful that she's in presenting herself in this way and that we're able to openly communicate. And she has a lot to say. 
All right. Thank you very much, Pocahontas. We'll hopefully do a part two with you. Thank I have lots more questions. <laughs> thank you very much. And thank you, Liz. And thank yeah, you, everybody awesome. else.